next uh, in the thermal engineering series of lectures we will discuss a numerical problem on velocity of steam through the steam nozzle the question is a dry saturated steam at 10 bar is expanded isentropically in a nozzle to 0.1 bar find the dryness fraction of the steam at exit also find the velocity of steam leaving the nozzle when one initial velocity is negligible two initial velocity is 150 meter per second solve the problem using steam tables and molly chart so for the time being we will solve it with steam tables so first we have to uh, write down what are the given data in the question now we know that the pressure is already given in the question as 10 bar and it is dry saturated and p2 the exit pressure is 0 0.1 bar which means that the steam is expanding from 10 bar to 0 0.1 bar and it is isentropic so we can take the initial entropy and the final entropy say so using steam table corresponding to 10 bar in the saturation uh, table we can find the h1 value equal to hg corresponding to 10 bar in the steam table so that value corresponds to 2 776.2 kilojoule per kilogram now s1 is equal to sg at 10 bar in the same row you can find sg value corresponding to 10 bar that you take it as s1 since the expansion is isentropic s1 equal to s2 s1 equal to s2 equal to 6.583 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin but at 2 for pressure P2, P2 equal to 0 0.1 bar the condition is with steam condition so we have to find the dryness fraction for further calculation so in order to find the dryness fraction we need to find the SF and the SG values at a pressure 0 0.1 so like how you took the uh, data for the P1 similarly go to 0 0.1 bar and find SF and SG values corresponding to 0 0.1 bar and HF and HD value corresponding to 0 0.1 bar those values you will get it as the following and this you have to note it as SF2, SG2, HF2, HG2. To find the dryness fraction at a point 2, that is the exit of the nozzle, S2 is equal to SF2 plus X2 into SFG2. Now, what is SFG2? SFG2 is equal to SG2 minus SF2. So, substituting the values from the steam table, you get an equation like this, and solving that equation, you get the dryness fraction as 0 0.791, which means that initially the steam was dry saturated, 100% steam. After expansion, its enthalpy reduced, or the pressure also dropped and it become wet steam at the exit of the nozzle at a higher velocity similarly to find h2 what we do is h2 is equal to sf2 h x2 hg minus sf at 2 similar to this equation we can find the in the same pattern now substitute the values corresponding to 
2 and you will get the value of enthalpy of steam at 2 condition now we, we got h1 and h2 you can find the velocity of steam when inlet velocity is negligible v2 is equal to 2 times h1 minus h2 into 10 raised to 3 you get it as 1176.13 meter per second and if you consider the inlet velocity we get a higher value that is adding v1 square in the inside the root we get the value like this thanks for watching